Joining us now, CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford and psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, an early show contributor. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Doc, we're going to get to you in a second, but Jack, good morning. I want to start with you. Uh, facing felony grand theft charges this time around, I mean, is this as serious as it sounds? You know, when you start uh, tagging the word felony, on top of the charges, yeah, they are serious. You know, out in California, they, the way they delineate between their lower types of petty theft charges and felony theft charges is by the dollar amount. Yeah. And if it's if it's slightly more than than nine hundred and fifty dollars, that's their cutoff point. If it gets above nine hundred fifty dollars, it it is indeed a felony. And they're saying here that the value of this is about twenty five hundred dollars. So by the numbers, it puts it in the in the felony category. And once you start talking about felonies, then you're talking about a wide range of sentences. But it could be as much maximum could be three years in prison. So serious stuff going on here. Does some of her her past uh, issues does that come into effect with you know, the sentence? It, it, it always does. You know, you, you go back. To, I go back to the days when I was a prosecutor. If somebody comes across, a file comes across your desk where nobody's ever been in trouble before, and they say this is just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Please, you're you're much more uh, susceptible as a prosecutor to say, okay, fine, we'll, we'll work something out here. But if they have a whole raft of things and they're showing up all the time in different types of things, sometimes the prosecutors say enough. Yeah, the backstory is not good. Now the jewelry. Yeah. Store, they have video, they have pictures as we've seen here. Now, Lindsay Lowen's team, her legal team, of course, they refute all the charges. So right. what, what, what's her defense here? You might have a couple of them. One is that that legitimately somebody, maybe not the manager of the store, and maybe they didn't go through the process they were supposed to, but somebody says to her, hey, you're Lindsay Lowen. Here, take this, wear it. You know, when they say, what are you wearing, mention us. Um, so that's a legitimate loan. It might just be, Chris, you know, criminal intent is important. What was your intent? Did you intend to take something from somebody and not give it back? Maybe. I mean, if I'm her lawyer, I'm asking, well, did your assistant say it was okay for you to take this. So maybe she was under the impression it was okay for her to take it, and she didn't. It wasn't engaged in stealing something. So you got a couple of avenues yeah. you can you can follow there for them. I have to see how it all plays out. Obviously, uh, doctor, let me ask you. Just when you think someone's <laughs> hopefully gotten the message, I mean, right. she's been in rehab a number of times. She's been in jail a number of times. So why is the message not being received with this young lady? It's really a fabulous question. I think that we're all trying to figure out. And I think part of it is, even though she's been in all these things, there is a level of accountability that she's never really had to take. They still kind of constantly shorten her sentence, give her less, take, let her off, say, oh, you're Lindsay Lowen, it's okay. So there's something about it where no one is really saying to her, you need to be accountable for your actions. This is what you need to do. You need to be honest. You need to be upstanding. You need to be focused on what is good for you and really go there. She always jumps right back into work. She jumps right back into things. Who's holding her accountable for what she's doing? So how do you break this cycle of bad behavior? We've got to get her somebody around her. You know, I, I kind of think about Britney Spears's experience explosion and implosion and she had this conservatorship, maybe there's something there that needs to happen. Someone needs to help her be responsible. Uh, Jack, you know, the doctor brought up a point there about leniency with the judges. I mean, is all goodwill with the court system? Has that basically, has that train left the station? Yeah, I, I think at this point, if you're her lawyer, you're worried that there's so much going on here uh, that if ultimately, and we don't know if it's going to happen, but ultimately, if she's charged, if something works out, she pleads or she's found guilty, and you show up in front of a judge, you know, the real danger is the judge is going to say, you know what, enough. We've tried everything else. Right. Nothing else is working. Yeah. So what we're going to try now is you're going to go And that may be what's best for her. Yeah. All right, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, Jack Ford, thank you both very much. Good to see you this morning.